Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. Welcome to the last day of the weekend, the last day of the month for March 2019. Looking again at some fairly quiet conditions for most of the Mid-South area tonight. Chilly, brisk, dry, no problems at all seen for today. We're going to continue to see some fairly quiet conditions tonight and the possibility of some more frost overnight. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. Plus, we'll take a look at how you can promote severe weather safety by taking a selfie from your safe place location when severe weather hits. It's a good opportunity to learn more about severe weather in the Mid-South as we are in that prime time severe weather season. And so please consider that. Just dropping by this evening, if you can't stay for the whole thing, forecast in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen or go to this website address, wreg.com slash weather for more details. And again, check out our Facebook page for more information as well. Coming up in just a little bit, your complete forecast into the rest of the week, showing some warmer conditions out there and into the next several days, fairly dry, but thunderstorms lurking out there with a new storm system toward the end of this next week. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. Drop your locations. Let's see where you're checking in from. City, state, and if you've got anything in the way of weather information, high, low temperature, current temperature, Temperature out there. Uh, give us a weather report and see what it looks like across the area for this evening. And again, glad to have you along for the ride. Rest of the evening should be seeing again some fairly chilly temperatures out there. If I can get my remote control to work, otherwise this is going to be a very short netcast. Temperatures tonight, there we go, back in the lower 30s. Patchy frost across the Mid-South as we get into very early tomorrow morning. So if you have plants outdoors, again, you hopefully covered them up last night. Go ahead and cover them up again for tonight as we see a freeze warning in effect for much of the area. Not exactly a hard freeze, but again, don't want to take any chances if you have those plants outside as we get into the growing season. So something to think about there. Way below normal, 70, at least close to that is where we should be. 53 was our official high temperature today. We didn't even hit the 50s here at News Channel 3. We hit about 49 degrees, which is our average low temperature for this time of the year. So very chilly across the Mid-South for today. Still ahead for the year on precipitation by about 4 inches. Good news on that, so decently quiet for right now. Mississippi River is on its way downwards. Going to continue to see, again, uh, the potential for more in the way of rainfall upstream. So for the next couple of days, the river is going to be falling. It's already in minor flood stage, heading down toward what's called action stage, the last flood stage available. And then from that point in time, after about 28 feet, it remains relatively high, but it should continue to drop. Unfortunately, right after we hit about midweek, Lots of water falling north of us in the form of snow and rain in the next few days could cause this level to just bubble upwards a little bit into the second week of April. It doesn't look like anything huge, but again, we will be keeping our eyes on that as we watch the river levels for you. More information on that from the National Weather Service if you'd like to know more about what we're seeing there. Windy Country Club, barely able to see what's left of the sunset out there above the trees in southeast Memphis and cars and trucks on Sunday night moving along quite nicely at I-55 in Goodman Road from the Baptist DeSoto camera in South Haven looking off toward Horn Lake in the distance. So again, a quiet evening, mostly clear out there. Uh, hopefully everybody had a chance to see the Chinese space station flying overhead going from southwest to northeast just a little while ago. Pretty dim pass, so hopefully some people got a chance to uh, see some of that into the overnight hours. Hopefully some clear skies for stargazing over the next couple of days. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. We do have a few clouds drifting on through the area, mainly northern parts of Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, north of I-40. There's little, if anything, going on for right now. One part of a new storm system is making its way into the Plain States. This one, as it passes, is pretty limited in moisture, so we're not going to be seeing much out of this except some cloud cover drifting on through into tomorrow. What we're going to be looking for is still off the coast of the United States, and this one does stand the potential of being a little bit more on the active side. And the storm system we're looking for here, coming in from off the west coast of the United States, this is the one that's going to be arriving as we head into midweek. So we've still got several days before our next chance of anything involving storms really heads into the Mid-South. But this one could be an active one as we go toward Thursday and Friday. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. We do have a freeze warning in effect 
Again, for all the News Channel 3 viewing area tonight, again, plants should be protected or brought indoors. Uh, if you want to, again, if you want to leave the faucet dripping just to be on the safe side, it's not going to be a hard freeze. But if it helps you to feel a little bit more secure, let the hot water drip in your kitchen and on your other taps. A little bit of hot water lost in your pipes is a literal drop in the bucket compared to what a burst pipe could do. So if you want to have that happen, uh, make certain your hot water continues to drip into the overnight hours. And again, plants are the main concern. As the growing season gets going, this is mainly issued for gardeners and anybody in agriculture, but you could be seeing, again, some damaged plants out there in your front flower box. Temperatures are already back in the lower 40s at this time, and we still have to talk about some wind chills out there with numbers in the upper 30s around Dyersburg at the airport and temperatures throughout the rest of the Mid-South. Overnight tonight, with clear skies out there, we'll be dropping into the lower 30s by the time we hit daybreak tomorrow morning. What does the cloud cover have to do with it? Well, even just a little bit of cloud cover can do a good job of acting like a blanket to keep the heat of the day down toward the surface. As those clouds drift on out of the picture and or dissipate, the heat of the day just radiates away from the surface and temperatures drop even more, which is what we're going to be looking at into tomorrow morning. So northeasterly wind, frosty at the bus stop tomorrow for the kids, so please remember that and make certain everybody's bundled up and ready to go against that chill. Now through the rest of the day, again, those passing clouds through the area, those gray colors showing where the computer is going to put the colors of the clouds on screen. And temperatures again tomorrow just below normal, lower to mid-50s with those northeasterly winds continuing. The clouds will continue off and on through tomorrow night, so not a great night for stargazing tomorrow evening, but we may see again the possibility of those clouds leaving the area afterwards. Thanks to everybody for joining us and checking in for tonight. Uh, appreciate all the reports and all the check-ins, so thank you guys very much for sticking around. Again, a little frosty tomorrow, but we should make the mid-50s as we head into the areas around Monday afternoon and evening. Back in the lower 60s through Tuesday, a little bit warmer and more clear skies out there. Also seeing again on Wednesday, temperatures back in the lower 70s, so back to normal by midweek. And again, seeing little, if anything, in the way of rainfall for now. As we go toward Thursday evening and into Friday, more chances of showers and thunderstorms. That's our Pacific storm heading through the area. We'll catch a bit of a break on Saturday as we look for temperatures to be a very much on the mild side, but also pretty dry. And then by next weekend into the second full week of April, as we approach tax day out there, we'll be looking for temperatures taking a bit of a dip and chances of showers and thunderstorms from next Sunday onwards. So it could be, again, some definitely good indoor potential out there uh, into and around the area for the best possibility of some frost. Not seeing that either. After we get done with these, these chilly temperatures, we should be pretty mild, so the growing season out there should not be too much to worry about, at least for right now across much of the area. So looking very good on the temperatures out there. So if you're planning on getting some gardening done after this last frost that we see, we don't see anything else in the way of frost anytime soon. Now, severe weather purposes, could we be seeing anything here Thursday and Friday? Uh, there are signs that we may see something out west of us toward about, say, Oklahoma and Texas. There's no definitive sign of anything happening here yet, but keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on what we're looking at for right there. You like taking selfies? You like getting out and about? That's great. You like weather? Well, we got a deal for you. Coming up this Thursday. Uh, Wednesday, actually, the 3rd of April, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the parent government organization of the National Weather Service, a couple of years ago started this idea to combine social media and severe weather safety. The hashtag is Safe Place Selfie. The idea is that you, your friends, whoever, wherever your safe place is for severe weather, take a selfie with you or your friends there, and then hashtag that onto social media at 1111 on Wednesday, April 3rd. This is all part of the Weather Ready Nation project to get more people, more businesses, more schools, more government organizations ready to go for severe weather. And this is a great idea to help people understand more about what severe weather is all about, and most importantly, again, thinking about severe weather and what to do before anything happens. Thinking about it moments before severe weather hits, that's entirely too late. You want to know what needs to go 
and be as ready as possible, as far ahead in advance as possible, and this will be a great way to do it. So let's see your Severe Weather Safe Place selfies this Wednesday, just past 11 o'clock, April 3rd. And this, again, if you'd like to be a part of the Weather Ready Nation project, your business, your church, your school, your government branch could be a part of that. All you have to do is contact the National Weather Service here in Memphis, and they'll be able to give you more information about that. Today marks the end of National Weather Podcast Month, and you can take a look at our podcast that we just put out a few weeks ago, Life in Front of the Television Screen. Tim and Jim talk about the emotional terror of issuing and dealing with tornado alerts and knowing that our families could be in danger. So keeping you informed as well as our own families Great way to finish up National Weather Podcast Month by downloading or listening to our podcast. One more, which we'll be up uploading now uh, onto YouTube and to various other social media, talking about your environment. It's our video echo blog, environmental blog. And if you'd like to check that out, wreg.com slash weather slash environment. This week, got a chance to talk a little bit more about Earth Hour and how many lights we keep on here at News Channel 3 burning 24-7, 365, and more importantly, how much money that costs us. If you'd like to see more about that, it'll be uploading here in the next hour or so. My forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, and of course, I'll be on with Bob and Josh as well. Weather where the troops are, 85 degrees, Monday morning in Guam at Anderson Air Force Base, east winds at 17. Our little salute to everybody out there who wears the uniform of our country and will feature various locations coming up on my podcast that will be coming up just about 10 minutes before 9 o'clock on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages. Here's what it looks like for the kids in the morning. Frosty at the bus stop, mild, a little less breezy, but some more clouds out there, but no need for any rain protection as we head into Monday, so definitely some good news on that. Join me live in the morning again with Bob and Josh. Talk back live on AM 730 and 1600 with your News Channel 3 updated forecast, sports chat extraordinaire, all kinds of great stuff going on out there. So if you'd like to tune in to what's going on in the Mid-South, AM 730 and 1600, bright and early in the morning. And, of course, catch me all across social media. I'll be glad to have you along out there for that as well. That'll wrap it up for this edition of Weather Overtime. Again, join me in just about a half an hour on my Facebook page for more updates on where the, where the troops are and an update on what's coming up on your forecast. Don't forget... We are going to be a little late tonight. Uh, thanks to the NCAA basketball tournament, we ran over by about 17 minutes. So we'll be on the air at about 10, 17 or so. So a little later tonight with the late edition. And, of course, Todd Demers has more in your forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That starts at 4.30. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, Memphis, Tennessee, USA. Thanks for sticking around for tonight's weather overtime and stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the week as we keep you informed about Mid-South weather. Thanks for joining us.